David Fudge, and I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Rehaer Ingovaje, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do. And I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way. So when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible. The support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. And there's a lot of the, uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know, the other students too. Fausto and the team really took, a, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You, know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well-organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people. And I've gotten to know a few online. And here I've gotten to know several more. I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day. And I was impressed. And so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice, um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. A amazing guy. Um, met him on. Uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma. Uh, and he's genuine, how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertrade University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're gonna be talking to a education advisor or an instructor, and you're gonna see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member, because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're gonna see that we have courses, recordings, we have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live, and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's a different adventure. It's just a different course, because different movements in the market, different situations. City, the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race. In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who, despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. I have already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. 
Soon, it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Um, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move, United Airlines. He buys, and it dips. He sells, and it dips even lower. You gotta know where those dominated brokerage firms are. You gotta know where they're buying it. You need to know where they're selling it. You need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just, you know, let me just trade a brand name stock and, you know, because it's, you know, Intel or Google, you know, and that's something that you don't want to do. All right, guys, uh, let me just do a quick audio check. Can everyone hear me loud and clear? Just give me a chat back, everybody. In the room. Hello, hello, hello. Good, good, good. Everyone can hear loud and clear. Perfect. All right. Hello from Ireland. All right. Anyone else? Loud and clear, Lewis. Marv, good to see you. Grant, good to see you. All right. Good, good. All right. Let me just go out there and uh, do a quick uh, video. First of all, thanks, everyone, for coming, and hopefully everybody enjoyed their day today in the market. Kind of a little slow, great, beautiful day here in New York, nice and summer. Um, my name is Fausto Baglisi, president founder of, the, of Cybertrain University. So I'd like to thank you for sticking around and coming at 4.30. One of the first times we've done this in a long, long time on a Tuesday. So it looks like we had a great turnout. A lot of you guys are here. Perfectly good to hear. All right. Good. Good to hear. All right. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, something I've been talking about the last couple of weeks. So I don't know if you saw some previous uh, webinars, uh, but it's always nice. To, it's like a great book when you read it, hear it once, you hear it twice. But we're going to talk about the two-day, two-hour trader, how to double your income um, and at your free time. And that is going to be the topic for today. But uh, before we do that, I want to do a quick little intro, explain a little bit about Cybertrade University, how things work, why we're here, you know, and hopefully I can help you become a good trader. Now, the big thing I want all of you guys to understand is this. This presentation is going to be for an hour. I cannot teach you how to make money in an hour. What I can do is I could spark your interest. My goal today, what I'm looking to do, is I'm not here to give away free trips, a free iPad, a free car, a free this, a free that. Listen, I'm not here to give away free stuff. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for people that are serious that want to make money in the market. Okay, It's not going to be a typical webinar where I'm going to try to go hurrah, 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 show you all the winners. Don't talk about the losers. Brag how much money I made and, and then slap you with a $5,000 class at the end of this our presentation. It's not what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to find people that want to join Cybertrain University, be part of our private club, that we could take the opportunity to train you so we could all make money together. Okay. Now, with that said, let me go out there and share my PowerPoint and let me tell you a little history about myself because what we're talking about right here, everybody, is something that I fell into 25 years ago. Now, I have over five years of pro proprietary trading uh, market experience. What that basically means is that I was a market maker. I worked for a trading firm. I was trading for someone else, okay? And uh, I've been doing it for over 25 years, and uh, I've been teaching for uh, basically for over 20 years. Now, regarding about the five years, I just want to kind of tell you a little bit about me because I want you to understand that I'm a human being just like you. This is not a recording. This is live, and I'm going to be happy to answer some questions as we go along, but I just want you to know that, like I told you, I was you 25 years ago. Now, what does that mean? What that means is that um, the difference between you and I is I was this ignorant 22-year-old kid going out there, being a cowboy, trading, thought I knew how to trade, self-taught, reading books, this and that, and um, kind of blew up three accounts, all right? That's basically what, what happened to me. And um, what ended up happening, ladies and gentlemen, regarding about, tr about trading is that fortunate for me, um, fortunate uh, to me is that I live in New York, greatest traders in the world. And with that said is, 
I said, you know what? Maybe I should work for somebody. Okay, maybe I should do it. Now, let me tell you why I didn't want to work for someone. I didn't want to split the profits. The same reason why people today, you don't have to go work for somebody, but you do got to take some courses from someone. And some people be like, eh, what am I going to learn? The guy's going to teach me. He's going to sell me some, some, a bunch of, a bunch of rocks, you know, and stuff like that. Listen, we all need to learn from somebody. Okay. You might not like how the guy looks. You might not like how he sounds. You might, you might like the way he sounds or might like the way he looks, but he doesn't teach you well. But I'm just telling you this, every single one of you going to need a mentor. Okay. And you don't need one. You're going to need several. Just like you go into college or high school. This is not kindergarten. You don't have one teacher from the morning all the way to the afternoon. You got to learn different subjects, different topics, and then you'll find the right course for you. But we're not boring you with that. Let me get right into it. What I learned on the first day on the job, I should have never, ever made my first trade, ever. You know why? Because I realized that I was trading blind my whole time. What I'm about to teach you guys, I'm going to show you what high frequency trading is. I'm going to teach you how to shadow market makers. I'm going to show you how how people, you know, how traders, you know, can kind of control the market and have a game plan and hide orders, this and that. Why is this? And why am I willing to teach you this? Because if you're able and savvy enough to understand just a fraction of what I'm talking about, I could definitely teach you how to make money and we're going to trade together and we're going to make a lot of money. That is the ultimate goal. Now, when I worked for the brokerage firm, when I became a great trader, um, my mentor, I, I didn't want, I wanted to go on my own, just like anybody else. You know, eventually you got to let the kids, you know, they graduate, they got to, they move out of the house, you know, whatever it is. So, you know, I want to buy my own house. I want to buy my own this. I, I, I didn't want to be tied to somebody. But my mentors told me something very valuable. And this is what you guys are going to realize right now when we move forward. They said, Fausto, if you want to be successful, you better surround yourself with traders just like you that are successful like you. Okay. And that's how Cyber Trading University was born. So I just want you guys to understand something. I started. One of the very first educational schools before anything you've seen on the internet. Not only that, but I started the very first original online trading room. Everybody out there, you know, a lot of them that you're seeing were students of mine. Um, a lot of them were instructors of mine. There's several of them all over the internet. So if you see a, a online webinar and you see an online trading room, with, they started. And it's all started here at Cybertrain University. And how and why are they there and why are they successful? The same reason why you're here. Because I'm hopefully gonna willing to teach you guys to hopefully do the same and maybe go out there and start teaching other people, which is great. But you gotta start from somewhere. Now, as a trader, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we do online, on site, but the key of this photograph is this. Look at the people that are here. They're just like you. They're business owners, entrepreneurs, grandmas, grandpas, retirees, border control, cowboys, accountants, engineers, pilots, veterans. There are people just like you every day. You know why they're here? Because they're sick and tired to give their money to some mutual fund. And if they're lucky, they'll show them 10%. Guys, we're not in the 10% business anymore. Okay. We need to make 10% a day. If you had $100,000 in your bank account and the tr broker terms, I'll show you 10%, you'd probably be drooling right now. What is $10,000 going to do for you? You work so hard to save $100,000, make $10,000. This is a business, guys. We want to take that $100,000 and we want to make it into a two, dollars $300,000 uh, profit at the end of the year. How do we do that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. Okay. And trust me, guys, it's not that hard. The hardest thing to do right now is what you did today, is taking the time at 4.30 Eastern time and showing up today and see what the real truth is. Now, I have a question for all of you, okay? Because now I want you to understand what kind of trader I am and what kind of trader you are, but I need to know what kind of trader you are first, all right? So my question is this. Let me bring up a poll, all right? And I want to know what kind of trader you guys are. Are you a stock trader, options trader, Forex futures? Just kind of get to know a little bit about who's in the room and know exactly what we got going on here. Okay. Well, we got a lot of stock traders. Okay, that's good. 
options, futures. It's funny. I always don't get too many people that click on the investor ones. <laughs> I don't think anyone's an investor anymore, right? A couple of Forex traders, futures. Okay. Now, I notice we're getting a lot of options traders out there. So let me kind of just kind of say something about your options traders. If you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better learn how to stock trade first because the movement of stock that makes an option move. So how do you know what option to trade if you don't even know what stock's moving? And that is a very big problem with today's markets. Now, I see some of you, a lot of you here might be swing traders. Well, how do you know what, what to swing if you don't know what's happening over the course of the day? Now, I personally am a day trader. I am one of the original day traders. Some people call me the godfather of day trading. Why is that? Because I, when I started, I was one of the original Sows Bandits. If you read any of the old books, I was with Harvey Halkin, um, you know, bless his soul, but uh, passed away uh, not too long ago, the founder of it. But I was actually one of those traders that worked, you know, as one of the original Souls Bandits. When I started, it was about 300 of us. Now there's close to 20 to 30 million. So I helped pioneer the whole day trading business. Now, how did I get into the day trading business? Is because if you look at Wall Street, most traders are actually day traders. They're just trading over the course of the day. They're trading momentum. They're just focusing on making money. And at the end of this, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, you just gotta ask yourself, why are you here to make money. That's it. You're not here to figure out about Trump's tweets. You're not here to worry about, you know, Russia hacking. You're not here to worry about the next pharmaceutical drug. You're not here to worry about the, you know, um, you know, the next tax thing. You're here to make money. Period, okay? So, right off the bat I tell everybody, you better put you know, your political hats away. You better put your egos away. You better put your, 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 your big dollar amounts and say, hey, you know what? I make a lot of money. You know, and I'm really, listen, you put the ego away. At the end of the day, you're here to make money. Now, the reason why I day trade is exactly what you're seeing on this screen. What I've learned is that over the years, actually over the years, over the day, why why always be stuck at your phone and, and be and worried about what my stock's doing? Oh my God, is it gonna come back and this and that? Day traders focus on their day's pay. We focus on momentum and that's it. Now, if you want to be a good forex swing uh, for, uh swing trader, which listen, I we swing trade here at Cyber Trade University. Um, you know, you gotta know what's happening over the course of the day. You know, you gotta know what's happening over the course of the day. Like for example, um, there's a stock today, I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't know if I could broadcast it really quick. Um, this is basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do this uh, on the fly. Just give me a second here. I want to show you something. Hold on one second. Um, okay, let me just bring this up. All right. So I just want to bring up a stock really quick. So does everyone see the stock right here, N-E-W-E? -E? Does everybody see this okay? Oh, nope. You know, you don't. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Let me share it. There we go. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Didn't work. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hold on, Cliff. We'll come here in a second. There we go. Right there. Okay. So. Looking at this stock right here, this stock started at $29 a share, okay? Over the course of the day, this stock was a phenomenal short. By the way, did anyone ever hear of this stock really quick? N-E-W-A, anyone heard about it, know anything about it? What's going on? Okay, so Vince, you did. Okay, good. Some of you heard? Okay, good. So here's a stock that started at $29.50. OK, right at the gate, this stock tanked, went from twenty nine fifty all the way down to twenty dollars a share in a matter of an hour, an hour. If you shorted that stock on a thousand shares, you could have made yourself close to ten thousand dollars. Right now, is it too late to trade it? Well, look what happened right around three thirty. Stock was trading exactly where it was, and look where it ended up going. It went from 1750 in 30 minutes. It dropped down to nine. Now, if you were a day trader, we killed it on the short. 
if you're a swing trader and you own this stock and you're not going to find out about it until, you know, maybe tonight or later, you're going to be like, oh, my God, what do I do? Do I hold on to it? Do I average down? Could the stock go to zero? Well, if you watched it this morning and you were smart enough to get out when it was at 20, but you were too ignorant, and now the stock is nine, what do you do? What do you do? You cry about it? Listen, trading is not a life or death, but it's a difference between making you rich and poor, okay? And you could destroy everything. Now, so how do you become a good swing trade or maybe a good option trade? You damn well need to learn how to day trade, and that's what we're looking at right here. All right, so now let me just uh, go out there and bring back our slide. All right, there we go. So let's get right into um, how do we find these stocks and how it works and what the whole philosophy and the style of cyber trading university is because I think that's what a lot of you guys are here for. Okay, we want to know if trading is for us. We want to know if we should be able to do this. Should we not do it? You know, all these big things. So let me just tell you right off the bat, before we get into the the, the style of cyber trading university and why and what we do here, let's start off with 50% of the failure rate. Now, I always like to talk about failure versus success, and I'll tell you why. If you are healthy and you're doing great and you're in shape, you know, Maybe once in a while, you got to take your physical, right? But when do you go to the doctor? When you're healthy or when you're sick? All right, so let's. So most of the time, we go when we're sick and we're worried about something. Trading, that's why most people decide, like, maybe I should get educated, you know, or why am I not making the money that I should be making? So let me tell you half the failure rate. Half the people fail just having the wrong brokerage account. And let me tell you why. Because some people are too damn cheap. And I'm just calling you out on it. Everybody's worrying about, oh, how much are the ticket charges? Oh, what are you guys giving away this week? Am I going to get my $600 gift card? Oh, um, how much cash back do I get? Everyone's so concerned about what is the brokerage firm going to give you? Well, did you ever thought about why they're so desperate for your business? First of all, how do you think they make money? I mean, could you guys answer that question? How do you guys think they make money? You think they make money charging you $5 a ticket? I mean, think about it. Why, why they, what, what's the catch? How did they build that billion dollar building on Madison Avenue? Okay, how are they able to spend $3 million on a 30 second commercial on a Super Bowl? On my $5? Come on, guys, stop being ignorant. Think about it. How do you make money? How about this? Do you guys work for free? Would you like somebody to work for free for you? Anybody like free employees? That's exactly right, friend, whoever you are. They, they're working against you. They're making the spread. They're doing this and doing that. Do you know they're making not seven, five or seven or two dollars? They're making several hundred dollars from you. Wouldn't you, if you knew that some that you could do the same exact thing they're doing and save yourself two, three hundred dollars a trade, what do you need the two hundred dollar gift card for? If I'm saving two, three hundred dollars a trade every trade, you keep your two hundred dollars. There's a catch. And let me tell you, they're not going to tell you that. Now, the reason why I'm spending a lot of time talking about this is because, you know, you might have heard the phrase, hey. The only thing is free is a cheese in a mouse trap. We all happen to know what happened to the mouse. All right. So I just want you guys to understand before we get into the strategy behind Cyber Trading University, I want to tell you how half of you can fulfill and fix this problem. You got to have the right brokerage account. Now, I'm not a broker. I'm not here to solicit brokers. Um, but every single one of you at the end of this presentation, okay, I'm going to invite you to join me at the original cyber group room. And not only that, but you guys are going to have the opportunity to actually physically talk to someone, talk to an advi you know, an education advisor, and he'll tell you, you know, who, who you need to, who you could, and, you know, who's the best for you. Because, you know, listen, everyone's a case by case basis. People, I see people from Ireland in here and London and U.S. and Canada, different laws, different regulations. So I'm not here to kind of tell you who's the best right now. But as of right now, I'm just telling you right now, half the people fail for that one dumb rule of reason. Okay. Now, 
biggest thing you just got to worry about is something they do something called payment for order flow. That's basically how they make their money. All right. Now, let's get back into the execution system. All right. Now let's talk about the strategy. There are two different types of brokerage accounts that we're going to learn from. This is how I learned my valuable lesson, how I blew up my accounts. Um, the brokerage firms that we're just talking about, those are called online brokerage firms. Now, there are brokerage firms that are called direct access brokerage firms. OK. Uh, yes, Rose, we're going to send you the recording. OK, as long as you're registered in here, we'll get your get your recording. OK, Rose. Uh, but unfortunately, if you leave, then you're going to miss one of the greatest part of the whole present presentation is that I'm going to give you an opportunity to actually get a free coaching class with me. So, you know. Um, but who knows? You can always wait next week. All right. But we'll get into that. But anyway, let's talk about brokerage firms. So basically, let's get right into this. Um, direct access brokers are like having driving your own car. Public transportation is like online brokers. Direct access brokers are like driving your own car. OK, now what do we know about driving your own car versus online direct, you know, public transportation? It's more expensive. You need a license. You got to buy insurance. You got to buy a vehicle. You know, when you really come down to it, you're like, it's kind of expensive to like have a driver's license to drive your own car. But we all know we're not surrendering it to go back to public transportation because to run a successful business or a successful life, because try to explain that to a pregnant wife, say, hey, honey, I didn't, you know, reason why I didn't buy a car is too cheap. So we got to wait for the, bu the train. The bus starts up at 6 a.m. You know, that's not going to work too well. Oh, the taxis are on strike today. Well, where's your car? You know, we, you know where I'm going with this, right? So anyway, you're doing this as a business. So you got, so we all know a lot of you might have good platforms like Metastock. You know, we, you know what you're getting out of it. Brokerage firms are not going to give you stuff like that. Okay. They're all out to trade against you. Now, let's begin and talk about how do we get around, um, not them trading against us. Okay, that's what we got to look at. Hold on, let me just fix this really quick. I don't know why I'm having a split screen. There we go. All right. I don't know what that extra screen down here at the bottom is, but it seems like I can't get it off. All right. So um, let's begin and, get, and talk about the strategy. Now, here at Cybertrain University, like I told you earlier, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for people that I could train that could be part of my group. Only if you qualify, and, the, and the, the whole purpose of qualifying is knowing if this is for you or not. And that's one of the reasons why we talk to our traders. When you come to CyberTrade University, you're not going to be talking to a salesman. You're not going to be talking to you know some voicemail or an email. You're going to talk to a physical instructor because the goal is, is that the way we're going to make money is by you making money. That's what we do. We're trading together like a community, okay, we're, as a team. Not that we're splitting profits or doing prop trading. We're not doing any of that. Right now, what we're doing is looking to train people so we can all bounce ideas back and forth to each other. It's be able to work together and be part of a group. That's what Cyber Trading University is all about. Okay. So, and the goal is to find stock like ABIL. Okay. And you can see ABIL over the course of the day, seeing a stock go from 350 in a matter of an, two hours, it goes to 850. I don't know about you guys, but $5 move. Sounds pretty nicely, but when you look at guys like John and Don and Neil and Bob, hey, I made 50 cents. Steve made a buck. Neil made 50 cents. Um, Don made 75 cents on you know, and you do the math there. T uh, Tom made a buck on 2,000 shares, made $2,000 on it. That is what we're looking for. Okay, we're looking how we can work together, follow big high frequency trades, big uh, big block orders, and just follow follow the big boys. That's what we're looking to teach you to do. Now, how do we find stocks like ABIL? Now, first of all, what is ABIL? Why is it up? Who cares? Who cares? By the time you figure it out, the thing already ran $5, right? But how do we really do find it? In our cyber group room. Our students using our technology, bouncing back and forth, sharing ideas, say, hey, Fausto, Look at a look at uh, GV GEVO. Oh, look at AWX. The stock is up 300 percent. Look at ABIO. It's up 200 percent today. And the buyers, the market makers are still out there buying John and Bill and and Haji and Vincent and Rose and all you guys out there. This is how you make money. 
It's not the Fausto show, okay? Fausto and his instructors, our job is to kind of see if trading is for you or not, but it's your job to be in the original cyber group room and work together like a team. Now, how do we find and scan these stocks? I don't know, do you, have any of you guys follow me on YouTube or you know, ever follow me on Facebook, whatever. So we broadcast and 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 we we share our, our picks every day, twice a day, and we do them on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. And you can watch videos of our morning and afternoon meetings. But the big thing is, where do we find them? Is on one of the great features on every execution system is the big percentage gainers and losers. Why are we working off the big percentage gainers and losers? Because those are the ones that have the big vol biggest volatility. Like you could see our watch list ABIL. Now, how do we know it? Now, the next question people are going to ask, okay, so Fausto, I saw you call out these stocks. Great, no problem. Well, how did you know it was going up? How do we know it was going up? So listen, I got a question for you guys, okay? And um, let me just fix something here really quick. And... Okay, so my question to you, everybody, is this. How do you know stock, how do stocks go up and down in the market? Can everyone answer that question? Oh, David, you saw me on a morning briefing on TradeStation? Great, great, great company. Glad you, you know, there you go. You got a great direct access broker right there. But how do we know stocks go up and down, everybody? Can everyone just answer that question for me? I know it's a dumb question, so I expect a dumb answer. If you can't answer this question personally, then you better quit trading. Okay. Uh, order flow. Basically, guys, everybody just write S and D. Okay. There's over what? There's almost close to over 200 people that have been in and out. Just write S and D. Supply and demand. Can everybody just write that S and D? Supply and demand. Greed and fear. <laughs> well, close, Charlie. Supply and demand. Okay. So let me teach you basic trading 101 because as, 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 as such a basic and dumb question that is, is how dumb some people are. And please don't take this in the wrong way. I'm um, just being New Yorkers. We're very straightforward and please don't hold that against us. But let me just tell you this. The way things work when it comes to trading is that you just got to follow the money. We are the ants on the floor. I tell everybody this. Why are we the ants? Because we're just trying to get the crumbs. These brokerage firms are, are moving millions and millions of shares, billions of shares. Okay. You think they really care about you? You think they really care about you're going to make $200 on them or $500? They got online accounts and they got these ignorant people that are paying, think they've been getting a deal at $5 and they're making two, three hundred a trade. You think they care if you make two hundred two two three hundred a day on, on a trade? They don't care. Okay. But what we can do is we could see those orders. And that's what we want to focus on. Now, how do we know about this? Well, let me tell you. When I started trading, um, I knew nothing of this. I heard of it, but I never knew this data was available to us. And the first mistake that people and the first mis mistake I made, which I know a lot of you here, um, and the reason why you're here, you didn't make that mistake, is I had the wrong execution system, the wrong platform. I didn't have a, a platform and didn't want to spend the money like on a meta stock. Okay, I was an first of all, I was a 22 ignorant kid. Okay, I did. I, I was you know. I didn't want to spend money. I was, I was being cheap, okay? Well, obviously, as we get older, we know we can't be cheap. We got to spend money to make money, right? You be a, be, a, be a penny a cheap, they say, is a dollar foolish. Don't we say that all the time? So that was one of my big mistakes. But then eventually when I took a job and uh, for a trading firm, you know what they did? They ran a business in their business. The first thing they told me says, okay, Fausto, welcome to welcome, – uh, to, uh, block trading, Castle Securities, where all the places I worked at, Daytech. They says, okay, um, by the way, there is a thousand dollar execution system you got to pay for. I'm like, I didn't even get, what do you mean you got to pay for it? Well, don't worry, you don't have to pay for it. It'll come out of your run when you make money. But I said, how do I going to make money? And you know what they said? Don't worry about it. You're going to make money. They're like, all right, you think I'm going to make money? I'm like, you'll make money. The only reason why you're not going to make money is because you didn't show up to work. 
you held overnight, you broke the rules, you didn't find the follow the diet, okay? And that's not our problem. You follow the diet, looks like you have an interest, you want to do it, you can add one plus one equals two, you'll do great, okay? You follow orders, you'll do good. You don't follow orders, you'll be out of here. So, but there are bills that you got to pay. And one of them was I had to pay money for an execution system, which a lot of you know this, okay? Comes, comes with the job, all right? And even today, even today, when you think about it, by the way, when you guys, when I used to pay $1,000 back then, you're getting it now for like 15, 20 bucks. And you know what's amazing? People are still cheap. They won't even pay that, okay? Which is good because those are the people we want to trade against, okay? But anyway, having the right execution system is key. So now what are we going to do? This is the, now we're going to get into the basic of trading 101. And what is 101 is I'm going to show you basically how the, the whole strategy behind Cyber Trading University, which is following the money. Okay, that's what we're going to focus on. Now, what I'm about to set, tell you right now, guys, it's going to be disturbing. It's going to bother you, and you're going to realize that how could anybody even compete or even do this without knowing that? And how do I know this? Because the guys on the left, that was me. And the people on the right are the ones we don't want to be. Remember, if you're not on me, if you're not on, on Wall Street, you can't do it on Main Street. And that's where people blow up their accounts. Now, the question is this. All right. And Mike, I'm going to do a poll. Does anybody here have level three so i'm gonna do a quick poll question so everybody out there just answer this question just want to get to know if everyone has this really quick do you have and just by the way I'm not sharing this data with anyone don't be embarrassed just obviously right now you could just see where you are on the poll just answer if you don't know it you know just say i'm not sure whatever it is but do you have level three okay just waiting for you guys to fill this out I need to Jeopardy music. Do, 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 <laughs> 13, 20. Okay. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty high. Actually, that's probably the, the highest nose I've seen in several months. Okay. Because if you said not sure, that's like saying I'm not I'm not sure if I'm pregnant. Listen, there's no such thing. Are you pregnant or you're not? Okay. You, you know. We're older now. We know that we have the tools now that will tell us if we're pregnant or not. So I'll take that as a no. All right. You don't obviously, if you're not sure, you really don't know. So let's take that as a no. So if you think about it, there's almost over 80% of you do not know what level three is. And that's okay because that's why we're here. And that's what's very disturbing because the reason why you don't know that is brokerage firms don't want to tell you about it. The reason why I don't want to tell you about it because if you knew about it, then you know what they're doing. And if you knew what they're doing, what the hell you need them for? And that's the issue. So let's get back into what is level three. Level three is going to show you. Now, listen to me carefully because now we're going to get into the, the whole style of, uh, of how our whole philosophy of, and syllabus of Cyber Trade University and what we're going to teach you um, and, how, and what you're going to see in our trading room. Okay. Level three is going to show you 70% of the buyers and sellers out there. All right, let me repeat that. You're going to see 70% on the average of where the buyers are and where the sellers are. Now, if I was able to show you and you could see 70% of the buyers and sellers, and this is an honest question. What would that be worth to you? If you could see 70% of the buyers and sellers out there in a trade that you're in, and believe me, you only make a, a fraction of a hundred tenth of 1% of it, but if you could see 70%, what is that worth? Exactly. It could be worth, it's worth a lot of money. It's priceless, right? Um, it's, you know, it could be worth several hundred dollars, whatever it is. Hey, Part of doing it, right, guys? Good. That's the, that's the kind of feedback that I want to see. So now I'm going to show you what we're looking at. What we're looking at right now is one of several what we call ECNs out there. Now, an ECN is something that I helped develop um, back when um, back in my day trading days. 
And I don't want to go into a whole history on it. You could, you could watch well, at the end of this presentation. We'll, we're going to give you access to our portal, and we have a couple of videos there. You guys can learn from it. Um, so all these books out there, I did it all in videos. So don't worry about that. But anyway, get, to get to the point is this: EC, ECNs are what make what are called high frequency trades. These are where all the institutions place their orders, and 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 they they're actually posting their orders electronically. So if you notice on the New York Stock Exchange, nobody's there. So you like you're wondering, well, where are these orders coming from? Well, they're going through computers. So people, you know, people are working out of their office, out of out of their brokerage firm's trading room, and they're posting orders out there in the market. That market is what you have access to. And the only way you have access to it is to buy it, which is when I started it, like I told you, I had to pay thousands of dollars for it. Now it's like 15 bucks. Okay. So NASDAQ book viewer is, this is directly an order directly from a NASDAQ market. Um, and you could actually right on their website, you can get NASDAQ book viewer, uh, which by the way, I hope none of you buy it because unless you come to my trading room, uh, you'll probably do more damage to yourself than good. So don't waste your time. But let me just kind of explain to it really quick so you know what to expect when you come to our trading room. What it's going to show you is all the buyers, which is on the left-hand side, and all the sellers. Now, if you notice, there are two columns. There's a column that says bid, and there's a column that says shares. And the bid is telling you the price. That's the best price that someone's looking to buy it. And at that price, you have some guy that's looking to buy five shares of the stock. If you notice, this is called a negotiated market. Okay, now you notice as you work your way down, you got buyers at $32.89, $32.88, And as you're going down, you'll notice, oh, look, there's a 200 share here. Wow, there's a 1,000 share to sell there. Holy cow, there's a 5,000 share buyer at $32.74, you know, which is only, what, 15 cents away? So the, what you're seeing is you're seeing the orders. Now, these are real live orders. These ain't fake orders. These are orders that are coming directly from the NASDAQ market. Now, how does that help you? Well, does everybody here know to read a chart? I think I said, by the way, that was the last thing I was taught when it came to trading. Um, but charts are great. You know, listen, they help you. The problem with today's charts is people they use it too much and it kind of more hurts you than helps you. But let me show you how we use it. Here's an example of a stock um, drop box, right? And it started around $31.40 and it came all the way down to a price right around here, around $30.80. Now, if you notice, it, and that's a minute chart. And, and, and within several minutes, this stock had a very tough time breaking the price right around $30.80. Now, what could possibly cause that? Why didn't the stock go to 30? Why didn't it go to 29? Why didn't it stop at 31? Why did it have to stop at 3180? Well, when you look at the level three, you'll notice that you got a lot of buyers at every price, at every penny. But coincidentally, with all the 100 share buyers and 300 and 250 shares, there was a 26,000 share buyer sitting at $30.75. Now, what do we what did I ask you earlier? How do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. So when you're looking on the bid side and you got a big buyer, what does that become? That becomes a demand. Okay? And it becomes a the buyers are demand. And when you're looking at that, that is a major demand at $30.75 which would explain when it got to that price, that's the reason why it went from $30.80 $30 all the way up to $31.60. So if you knew that and you bought it with that guy and you sold it 10 minutes later, you could have made yourself a nice 80 cent profit on a thousand shares, 800 bucks. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. So that is how and what drives support and resistance levels on a chart. Now, how do we apply that to a resistance level? Right now, we're looking at support. What makes a resistance levels? Sellers. When you look over there on the right, you'll notice these are all the sellers. We got 100 share sellers, 2,000, I mean, 200, 
you got a 7,000 share seller, but you got a 15,000 share seller right around 55.90. Okay, so you could see how that stock Roku when it went from 55.30. Why did it stop at 55.90? Because there was a seller of 15,000 share sellers. Now ask yourself a question: How many of you here see these 15,000 share and 6,000 share sellers out there? Because let me tell you, chart doesn't tell you that. Chart only tells you what happened in the past. And if you waited, you know, and you and you weren't prepared to see that seller, look where it is now at uh, $55.50. So what did you do? You threw away 40 cents. Might not sound like a lot, but when you're trading 1,000 share lots, 400 bucks. Listen, if you don't want it, guys, I'll take it. Okay? Because $400 a day over the course of the year is a six-figure salary. Pays a hell of a lot more than Social Security. I could tell you that. Now, that you understand of what we're looking at, now let's go out there and apply it to all of us. Now, I have a question for everybody. Look at this chart right here. In theory, and what you could notice right now, what do you think the stock's going to do? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Just put it in the chat room. Let's just see what you guys think. What do you think, up or down? And please don't tell me, oh, it's not enough data. I don't know. You know, I can't, without this, I really can't tell. Listen, it's a very simple question. What do you, looking at the trend of it, what is the trend? Is it up or down? How about that? What, what is the trend of the stock? Is it up or down? Well, if you said down because it was at 32, now it's at 3150, you said down, you're right. The trend is down, okay? It's not a trick question. Well, now comes the trick question. Why is it, well, when will it stop, right? Like how much lower is it going to go? So now let me, let me ask what your strategy. How do you, when are you going to know the stock is going to bounce? What do we need for this stock to stop going down? What do we need it to do? What do we need to help it from stopping the bleeding? What do we all need, everybody? What do you think? We don't need a chart to tell us because the chart is only getting its don't the chart gets its data from orders. Right? We need buyers. We need buyers, right? The only thing that's going to prevent this stock from going any lower and from us to continuing to stop the bleeding from losing money, we need buyers. And you know what? Fortunately, the chart doesn't tell you that. So what's going to tell us that? Level three. So let's look at a level three. And when we notice, for some coincidental reason, there's a 600,000 share buyer um, looking to buy 20,000 shares at $31 sitting at $31.50. Got some 2,000, 4,000, 1,000. Pretty substantial buyer. In theory, what do you think is going to happen when that stock gets to 3150? What do you think that stock's going to do? Go up or is it going to go down? With a bit with a with a 20,000 share buyer guys. You're right. It's going to go up. Cuz look at that stock right here. Stock came down, hit the support level at 31, um, 3150, and look where it is now at 3220. How many times have you been in a stock and you're like, damn it, how did I go up? How did I, why didn't I know that? And why is the chart telling me now? Couldn't it tell me in the future? Well, it's not that you can't tell you, you just didn't have the right data. You didn't spend the money to have the right tools. You weren't part of the right room. Okay? You're sitting there trying to analyze. You're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to go out there and try to outsmart these traders. Um, uh, question is, does level three subscribe um, subscriptions cover all types of stocks? Yes. Well, technically, no, because it doesn't work for penny stocks, which I do not trade, bulletin board and NASDAQ. It only works towards NASDAQ national. OK, which is uh, which. Pretty nice, decent list, about 25,000 shares, uh, 25,000 stocks. 
Plus, it also works on, uh, uh, on, on New York and NASDAQ. All right. Now, let's take away the chart, and let's just work directly off the data. Now, where do you guys think, in theory, the stock might hit a resistance level? Looking at this order, let's see if you guys can figure this one out. Victor, I do not teach futures, but if you want to learn futures, um, here's my email address. Let me just put it in the chat room. And there's only about two or three people I recommend that know how to teach futures and options. All right. The rest of them out there are just out there to take your training money. But looking at this example, in theory, where do you think the stock will hit, you know, a resistance level? If you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. Guys, there are over 200 people in here. Don't be shy. Stop looking at what's going on on, you know, on the news and, 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 and these reports. Focus on what's going on. You got money on the line. You want your spouse to yell at you? Focus. Okay, thank you. Bob, uh, Bob has a question. Is level three the same as dark pools? No, Bob. Dark pools are a fraction of high frequency trades. Let me try to explain to you the difference. Um, I used to teach dark pools. Um, when I was a trader, I used to work with dark pools. But with today's markets, dark pools only make probably, I don't know, 1% of the volatility of the market. I don't know about you, but you want 1% of the movement or you want 70%? You know, you, you think it's a dumb question. Um, but just to kind of tell you what dark pools are. Dark pools are basically trades that are, are being traded within a brokerage firm. And um, I'll give you like a quick little metaphor. Let's say you and I work for Goldman Sachs and you have a client. I have a client. He wants to buy 100,000 shares of Intel. He wants to sell 100,000 shares. Instead of going out in the market, they're going to cross the market together. But how often does that happen that brokerage firms are trading within their brokerage house? That's what's called a dark pool. OK, so when it comes to trading right there, you know, Goldman Sachs, you know, Schwab doesn't control the whole market. OK, you got TD, you got Fidelity, you got Goldman, you got Shearson, you got, you know, BATS, you got EC, you got everybody, you got every mutual fund. So regarding my dark pools, if, you, if you're learning about dark pools, you're obviously wasting your time because it only makes up about one percent in, in my theory, what I've calculated uh, versus 70 percent. High frequency trades are what really control the market. OK, now let's get back to this question because I'm running out of time here and, you know, I want to get right to it because. We got only about 10, 15 minutes left, and I got about another 20 slides, but we'll get, we're moving along. I'm taking my time to explain it. But, yes, so if you picked if you picked um, 20, the 21,000 share sellers, congratulations. You're absolutely right. You just passed kindergarten, okay? Now, looking at the chart, I implement the chart. A lot of you might look at the chart like, oh, yeah, this stock's going higher. It's, it's breaking, breaking higher highs, double tops. You know, it's got, um, it's got everything. People got all these crazy names, this and that. Well, guess what? Look what happened when it got to the price of 23, uh, uh, 32, 38. Boom, the stock came down. You know, dropped about 10 cents. So it's all relative. And guess what? Not only did it hit the resistance levels, but now look as the day went on. Not only did it go down at from 2338, but now look where it is, almost down to 30, $31. Why? Because, and why did it drop? Because you got greedy. Maybe that seller kept dumping it, you know? So that is all about having a game plan. By the way, does that seem hard? Does that seem quite difficult out there for you guys? It's not. It's not. Everybody's got like this secret sauce. Everybody's got like everybody's selling their cookbooks. I call indicators cookbooks. You know, everybody's and, and which they're OK. They work, you know, depending, you know, different different strokes for different folks, you know, depending on what kind of trade you are. But as a day trader, indicators do not work. Period. And not only that, but I would take an order any day versus any Fibonacci moving average, any of that stuff. Now. I came up with a word over 20 years ago, and it all started watching the movie Titanic. 
Anybody watch that movie Titanic, by the way? What a sad movie. I actually was, I cried. So embarrassed. It was, you know, actually, I think the whole movie theater cried when I was watching it. But anyway, what happened to the Titanic? We all know. OK, it was supposed to be the unsinkable ship, which everybody thinks they're the most. Un and I always look at people as always like, oh, I got every platform. I, I'm, 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 I'm unbreakable. Well, unfortunately, people didn't have the right. The, the, the Titanic didn't have the right tools. They didn't have the radar to see what's on the bottom. You see, when you look at it, when you look at, at a iceberg, it's not what's at the top of the water. It's what's at the bottom of the water. That's where the iceberg is. And if you don't have the right, if you if you might think that you're far away from that iceberg and you're driving, you get close to it. Guess what? You're going to sink. And what happens when you sink? You lose all your money. So I call these big block orders iceberg orders. Now, any swing traders out there? Uh, Victor says, I was staying focused on a lot of these and most of them, they are not like this. Well, Victor, that's why we're here at the end of the day. Now, do we have swing traders out there? Absolutely. I think we have everyone wants a swing trader. Well, let's look at this example, AWX. Anybody trade AWX? It's one of the stocks that we called out. We did pretty good on it. Um, now, how does a day trade trickle into a swing trade? Well, AWX um, stock was roughly trading about three dollars, um, and then here we are looking at the matrix. And I know some of you here watch me on on TradeStation every Tuesday on their morning briefing. But it was one of the stocks I was talking about, and I says, guys, look, there's 147 thousand share buyer on AWX. And look, you got 400 shares, 700. Guys, this is not, this ain't, this ain't no fake orders. This is a real damn order out there. Somebody wants to buy 147,000 shares of stock. Okay. Well, what happens if nobody wants to sell them the shares? He's got no other choice for him to buy it. He's got to buy it from a seller. Well, this stock ran and look at the bottom. Okay, look at the dates, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th. This stock not only ran from that $3.20, and not only there was constant buying going up, this stock ran all the way to $35. Okay, look at that. Look at that rally. Okay, so not only could you, you know, to be a good swing trader, you got to know how to day trade. And you know what? If it's something that you're like, eh, you know what, maybe I don't want to swing trade. I like it long term. Then maybe you could do an option. But that's what trading is all about. Okay. It's about making money. Um, is there a way to avoid a pattern day trade or a small account? Well, listen, you know, ju uh, Judge, regarding about that, how about this? How about let's see if trading's for you or not? Okay. Let's worry about that first. Let, listen, you want to be a doctor. Let's say you want to be a lawyer. What do you do? Or let's say you want to be a race car driver. Actually, I, I, I'll use a better metaphor. You're 18 years old. You get an opportunity to buy your car. What are you going to do? Buy the car first or learn how to drive? Unfortunately, you got to get your license. They don't allow you to do that. But if they did, I bet you 99% of the people are like, I'm not going to drive a Z and waste in six months. Just give me the car. I'll figure it out. You know how many accidents we have on the road right now? So worrying about all these pattern day trading rules and accounts, don't. that's the least of your problems. We'll find a way for you to be able to trade. There's always a way. But you first have to realize First, you got to interview and see, you got to find the right team to trade with. You got to learn how to trade first. That other stuff, don't worry about it. That's the least of your problems. All right. Now, for everyone here, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to invite all of you. And, you know, like I said, I told you this earlier, I can't teach you how to trade in an hour. But at the end of this presentation, I'm going to give everyone access to our website. And in a portal, I have a couple of good live demonstrations of some live data. See, see, you know, it's, it's, it was easy to see it on a screenshot, right? But when you start watching it live, some of you guys are like, well, it's too fast. What are these stocks? Don't, don't worry. They're not. You know what you have to ask yourself? Who really trained you? Okay. Which is the next question I want to ask. 
All right. I want to do a quick poll really quick. Okay. Um, and my poll question is this. Are you self-taught or do you buy any paid courses? Or do you, uh, are you coaching with a, with a, with a trading a mentor right now? And like self-taught is a guy that watches, reads books, um, watch YouTube. I mean, actually physically went out there and spent money, okay? Which, by the way, this is completely confidential, all right? Don't worry about it. So as you guys are filling it out, this is, this is the reason that when you start answering this question, you're going to start to realize, oh, now I get it. Now I understand that it, it's, not, it's not about me and it's all about free stuff. Remember what I told you when you came here. I'm not here to give away free laptops. I'm not here to give away a free car, a free trip, a free iPad, a free phone, a free tickets, a free anything. I am not looking for free people. My job is to make you proud to go buy your own stuff and says, you know what? I bought that $15,000 Rolex, okay, because I traded AWX. And people are like, what the hell is AWX? That's AWX, okay? Not going out there and says, oh, Fausto gave free Rolexes in my web in a webinar because he's trying to sell his $3,000 class. I'm not, I'm not about that. I've been doing this for 25 years, guys. Okay, I want you to I want you to go out there and maybe not buy the Rolex or buy the Maserati or I want you to go out there and have a better life. Okay, I know, you know, going out there and not depending on having someone else make money on you, go out, do it on your own, be able to pay your mortgage, be able to pay your medical bills, be able to not worry about Social Security, be out there and not worry about being fired or getting a raise or 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 not spending enough time with your family. But you got to go to work or having your spouse and having two jobs, you know, this is the greatest job in the world. But you got to learn how to play the game. And that's the most important part. Now, getting into this pretty quickly, guys, um, some people always ask me, well, how do you know these are real trades? I heard about them. They're fake trades. I, what about these dark pools? And what are the high frequencies? Guys, listen, every trade is getting executed. And the way you confirm them is with something called time and sales. How many of you guys here are using time and sales? People are like, oh, I got it. Don't understand it. Well, do you know that time and sales, the chart gets its data from time and sales? And just by seeing all those orders, if they come up in green or red, which means red's trades are going off on the bid and green means trades going on the offer, you could just follow time and sales and know exactly where the direction of stock is going. So it's, it's called tape reading. So when you see those big block orders out there, I'm like, well, how do you know those guys are getting executed? And, and how do you know they're real? And this is not. Well, time and sales is it. And secondly, this is what you're going to get be coming to joining Cybertrain University. We're going to show you this stuff in live, live markets. Okay. Um, Victor, you know how much money you need to learn how to trade? That's a great question. Okay. Do you have $7, Victor? You have seven bucks in your pocket? You have a credit card that you can max out and put $7 somewhere. You got $7? Anyone got seven bucks? How to, how to start learning? Because that's all it's going to cost you. $7. Okay. And I'll explain to you why. All right. But as of right now, let's get focused on what's going on. Because remember what I told you, trading is not for everybody. As much as you might think it is, I'll tell you point blank if it isn't. And guess what? That is okay. That's okay. But to find stocks and understanding how they go up and go down the way they do, following you know stocks and working with other traders, you got to know how to play the game. And the game, the number one game that you have to learn from is following the money. That is, that is trading 101 first. Uh, is time and sales a, a base subscription? Well, well, no, it comes with your execution system. Every brokerage firm actually gives it to you for free on your time and sales window. Every single one of them. By the way, but with that, when you guys come and join my trading room, we're going to broadcast all this stuff live anyway. So we're going to show you live for a whole week, a whole week for guess what? 
seven dollars seven dollars I'm going to invite every single one of you, which, by the way, the only reason why we charge seven bucks is because we want to make sure you're a real person. OK. Um, and, and by the way, don't worry about that right now. Let's focus on this. First, you got to see is trading's for you. So if you like finding knowing if it's for you, if you could afford it, get the right brokerage account, talk to a human being, be able to get an opportunity to maybe talk to Fausto, seeing traders make money. You know, like Gene and Lazio and Ron, Kathleen and Benito and, and, and everybody, how these people started, people just like you, that's where it all, this is where it all starts. So um, Cheryl's a question, green, and, green is the ask and red is on the bid. What is the black? Black are the trades in the middle. Okay, that's what that is. Those are trades in between the bid and ask. All right. Now, um, when it comes to trading, everybody, one of the biggest things that we teach, which is what you're going to love about Cybertrain University, which is rarely ever going to hear it, we make most of our money in pre-market, pre-market trading. That's where we make most of our money, pre-market trading. And by the way, some of you are like, well, how do you have access to that? Who does that? Well, guess what? Don't worry about it. You're going to see it live. All right? You're going to see it live. You're going to see why these things go up and why they go down the way they do by following time and sales, by following the order and working with some of the best traders in the industry. But let me tell you where mistakes do come in. Everybody wants to learn how to use indicators. The problem with indicators, guys, is indicators are laggers. They're not leaders. OK, and I know everyone comes out with an indicator and they sound great and this and that and they work great for swing trading. They work good for options trading, but they do not work for day trading. And the, oh, and let me tell you, less risk, more reward. You got to know how to play the market. So. What I'm looking to do, everyone, is we're almost we're almost at the end. Let me just fix my chair here. I feel like I'm going down. So what I'm looking to do, everybody, is I want to invite you guys to come to the original cyber group room, the original trading room that I started 25 years ago. And I want you to see the traders, people that we've trained and how we all make money together. And by the way, biggest thing that you're going to learn is do not judge us on the winners. OK, I want you to judge us on the losers because that is what's going to show you the difference of how few we have and also how we control getting out of them. You got to learn how to get out of those losers. That is everyone's biggest problem. OK, and we do and we do live broadcasts over the course of the day. So for one whole week, for one whole week, you know, you're going to be able to see this live. Um, actually, Nick, that's a good question. Um, no, I actually uh, I was involved with Cyber Trader back in in uh, in the early 1990s. I, I actually did a lot of education for them. But uh, no, Cyber Trader. Um, actually co copied my name, <laughs> be honest with you, who's bought by Charles Schwab right now. That's why I still have it. All right. Um, how much time do you, uh, a week do we need to, for a lesson? An hour? We only work at, we only work about two hours a day. That was a today's topic of the conversation. We trade the first hour of the open and the last hour of the close and you're pretty much done for the day. All right. So now guys, let's get right to the ending because we're running out of time and I know you guys, and we have some questions. And I know people have places to go because I know I got places to go. You know, beautiful day here. Summer's here and I want to go spend some time with my kids. But before I do that, let me get right into it. Let's stop being confused. All right. And let's do this right. I'm going to teach you the KISS method. It's called keep it super simple. How to have the level three, have the right platform and how to see and trade together with successful traders. Think of the potential income we can make. Thousand shares. Stock moves 50 cents. $500 a day, $10,000 a month, $100,000 a year. Who doesn't want that job? Okay. Greatest job in the world. You are your own boss. You can come and go whenever you please, you, but you got to learn from mentors. And remember what I told you, you got to learn from more than one. You got to learn from people. And not only that, my students are mentors. And you know why they're mentors? Because if they know, if you're, if you know what you're doing, you're going to make their lives a lot easier. Um, well, let's start trying not to use that, that type of language. Um, uh, but don't worry about it. If you miss the morning, you can come, you got the afternoon. 
You got the afternoon. Don't worry about that. Now, listen, the reason I got into this business is that to become a successful trader, my father always taught me, he says, son, find a job that you could spend more time with your family, more time with your kids, do more time, you know, try not to be the, these typical families today, work, you know, the mother and father works, you know, um, you're working eight, you're putting it in daycare and, you know, like he says, it's not, it's not, that's not a good way of living. Yeah. You, 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 you live in a nice neighborhood, go to good school districts, but you got to have a good relationship with your kids, you know, or your wife or your friends. You get burnt out. Trading is the greatest job in the world. I swear by that. And the reason why is you are your own boss. You can come and go whenever you please. You can do this anywhere in the world, but you got to learn how to play the game the right way. I don't need to sell you on this. You guys know this already. That's why you're here. You're probably here because you didn't figure it out yet. They're like, I still understand. The market's up so much. I'm breaking even. And I got these dogs in my portfolio. What do I do? Do I get out of them? Guys, enjoy life. The reason why I day trade is because I have, I have a clear head. I can go to sleep at night and I can enjoy and have a great time. So this is what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to invite every single one of you to join me in the original trading room, an online trading room, and you're going to see stocks, and I'm not blowing smoke. You're going to see stocks up 20, 30, 50, 100, 200%, 500% in a day. That's right, in one day. You don't believe me? I personally guarantee it, okay? And I'm not talking about one. I'm talking about several of the course of the day. And I personally guarantee it, you're going to see this. I know it sounds like an infomercial. I know it sounds like, my God, Faust is ridiculous. Are you really seeing it? Hey, you know what? How many have you seen? Probably, and not only did you see, did you were you ever in one? Well, I'm going to teach you how to get in them and how to get out of them. And then you'll know why. And this is the most important part. And then you know why. Cybertrain University has been featured on some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. I can almost guarantee you this. You will never find a school that has been, that has been presented for more brand name brokerage firms um, than anyone in the industry. And the reason why that is, is because they know what we teach works. And no matter what you read on the internet, okay, good and bad, all you need to know is hell. Trade station, big company, huge compliance department, okay? Do you think they want somebody out there that has a bad reputation? TD Ameritrade, Tasty Trade, Charles Schwab. You think Wiley's going to write one of the most well-known publishers in the world? You think they want to publish a book for somebody that doesn't know what he's talking about? See what the, what the chatter is about. See why you have the opportunity. And this is what we're going to do. Like I said earlier, for $7, this is what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to know if you're a real person because there are a lot of people in here right now. Could be a competitor, could be a heckler, could be a jealous, or, or could just be you know a student or someone just doesn't know. But we want to make sure you're a real person. We're not going to just invite you in our cyber group room because we did that. I'll have 10,000 people in there. I'm looking for serious traders. That $7 is going to prove to me that you're serious, and this is what you're going to get. And by the way, like I, I hate to use the word guarantee, but I'm going to use guarantee. I can guarantee that you will never find a company that will do what I'm about to give you. This is what you're going to get. You're going to be able to talk to a real live person, okay, an education advisor that knows about trading and that can answer your questions. You're going to be able, you're going to have access to my professional trading room, okay, for a whole week. You're going to get morning and afternoon watch list. You can get your own personal education advisor. You're going to get Q&A training, okay, all for $7. Now, you people are going to look at this and be like, what's the catch, Fausto? There's got to be a catch. Okay, this is the catch. The catch is this. Trading is not for all of you that are here. And the thing is this. If I could teach you how to make $100,000, I'm going to make money off that because the way it's going to work is this. If you're able to make 100 and know how to make good call outs, we're going to trade together and we're going to make a lot of money together. Okay. But for you to get proof of that, you can't look at me. You got to look at our students. And not only that, 
But if you are very serious, I got another bonus for you. For the, there, for the first 20 people out there, I would even personally even talk to you. How about that? When's the last time that you spoke to an owner of a company? How many of you guys did trials and be like, oh, yeah, I was in the room. I saw the guy, and then he disappeared, and I called, and it says, oh, only emails. You think we make money on $7? I get it. I know why they don't talk to you, okay? Can't make money. Here in New York, it's $15 an hour. They just passed a rule, okay? You think it costs me more money for you to talk to, to, to you know, to, to talk to a, a low-end person. Believe me. And by the way, no one makes $15 an hour here, okay? So, uh to, uh, and, you know, to have somebody really good. So anyway, the point is this. First 20 people, if, I, if you could survive and, and be impressed, we're going to talk. And, and I'm going to interview you, and I'll tell you if trading's for you or not. So you got the link right there. Click on that link right now. Register. First 20 people, $7.00. Get not only get everything that I talked about, but we able to get an appointment with me. All right, a couple of questions coming across here. Is this recorded? Yes, this is going to be recorded. Um, this is being recorded. Thought this was live. It, Andre, this is live. What do you mean it's not live? Of course it's live. I'm calling your name. Okay. You probably saw an older one, but this is just a re, you know this is another repeat. We do this every week. All right. Any uh, any other questions? By the way, a lot of you guys are registering right now. Let me just do a couple of shout outs. Uh, James H. from what was that Los Angeles. Welcome aboard. Uh, S. Kong. Um, Kong. Uh, is that from uh, from Singapore? Oh, welcome aboard. Uh, John. Was that uh, John George? Oh, that's, what, are you the, are the, the famous. Uh, are you the famous, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, chef, <laughs> Joe George, uh, from Ohio. Welcome aboard. By the way, keep coming in so you can see more and more. Just click on that link, guys, and we'll get you up there. All right. By the way, any other questions? Anyone have any, any other questions regarding about what we talked about, what we've learned, anything like that? All right. So sorry about the double screen. Don't know why it's doing that, but hopefully this helps you out. Uh, do you also do Forex? All right. Let me tell you about the thing about Forex. I'm not a Forex trader. Okay. I don't pretend to be a Forex trader. Okay. And, uh, but if you want to learn Forex, I know a couple of good Forex traders. I put my email up there. I'd be happy to refer about, there's only a two or three people that teach Forex. But just because you want to learn Forex of futures and options doesn't mean you can't learn about stocks. So go out there, learn about the stocks. Listen, it's only seven bucks. What could happen? You'd be there for one hour and to see people. Listen, first of all, you'll never see a Forex stock go up 100 percent in a day. OK, um, it just will never happen. OK, and I, I actually I, I, I personally guarantee that won't happen because I've been doing this for 25 years. And the most I ever saw is when uh, when the Swiss franc uh, put FXCM out of business. And that was like 20 percent. OK, so uh, but anyway, at the end of the day, you're here to make money. You got to learn a little bit about all the markets. Um, what happens after seven days, Greg? Okay. So after seven days, um, if you want to stay in the room, it's $87. If you don't want to stay in the room, don't worry about it. Remember what I'm trying to tell you. I don't need your $7. Okay. Okay. I can't buy a Rolex watch with $7. I can't, I can't pay for my, my, my Range Rover for on your $87. The way I make money is if you're, if you follow, if you're good with rules and you can follow the you know know how to follow buys and sells and just follow the big boys which if you thought this was easy wait till you see it live and you can follow rules i'm gonna we're going to make money together that's the ultimate goal okay that's what i'm looking to do uh a couple of shout outs right here because wow we're almost remember there's looks like we're almost uh sold out of the top tw top 20 by the way if you if you're not part of the top 20 this week um you'll still talk to a You'll still talk to an uh, an instructor, so don't worry about that. Uh, Stan Stansa from Denmark just got your registration. Welcome aboard. KCC from New Jersey just got your registration. Congratulations. Uh, Grant R from from Oklahoma just got your registration. Thanks for your seven bucks. 
Guys, it's seven dollars. What do you have to lose? Right? What do you have to lose? Miguel A from Virginia just got your um, registration. Dean T from Texas just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Marv, you got it. I didn't see you coming in, Marv, yet. Did you did I call out your name? I didn't see you registered. Um, how much capital do we need to start? Okay. So how much capital do you need? AWX was three dollars. You bought a thousand shares. What was that? Three thousand dollar investment? Way to go to thirty? Not too bad. So think about it, guys. You don't need a lot of money to do this. That's a misconception. That's another big mistake that people get. People are like, but how am I going to trade Facebook? How am I going to trade Tesla? Oh, I know how. I could do an option because I can't afford the stock. That is a poor man playing a rich man's game. You don't need a lot of money to do this. Okay. The next question you have to ask you, who, who trained you? Remember what I told you earlier. It's the movement of the stock that makes any swing trade or every options trade move. Let's learn how to day trade. Let me show you how to trade stocks that are moving. You don't need a lot of money to do this. Okay. That's a misconception that people make. How do I know that? Because I was trained by guys. And by the way, I'll even prove it to you. Think of you are a brokerage firm. Who are you going to put your best trader? The guy who trades uh, uh, to trade uh, to trade Tesla. Your best trader or your worst trader? Okay. You're going to waste them on a $3 stock or on a $300 stock. Okay, so that's another thing you got to read between the lines. You're not dealing, you know, there's 25,000 stocks out there. They're not going to put their best traders on, on, on every single stock. They can't. Guy can't monitor 25,000 stocks. All right. Um, okay, a couple of questions here. Uh, a couple of people. Lawrence W. from, wow, we got a lot of people from Ireland. Wow, we got a lot of people from overseas. That is great. Blair from another one. Christchurch, what is that, New Zealand again? All right, wow. A lot of, lot of Europeans. That's like the first time we had so many of them. This is great. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. We got a couple of more people coming in. Uh, Bill, from, uh, Bill from Buffalo. <laughs> Where'd that come from? All right. John from, uh, from Kansas. All right, welcome aboard. Steven uh, from uh, Spring, Texas. Just got your registration. Thanks for your seven bucks. Don from St. Louis. Okay, guys, let me let me just tell you. Let me repeat this again. This is how it's going to work. When you register at Cybertrain University, every single one of you are going to get access to a um, an education advisor. You don't have to start tomorrow. Okay, you can start when you get back from vacation, whatever it is. This is a one time promotion. You talk to him, say, "Listen, I want to start this day, whatever it is," and then we activate it. In the meantime, you'll be able to start watching a couple of videos because when you get into the trading room, you're going to be like, you know, you need to know how to speak the language. You need to understand a couple of symbols that we use, typical trading language. It's a different language than you're used to. Okay, now nothing, nothing crazy. A couple of like, you know, if you know, you know what LOL means on a chat, like little things like that. You know, it's like there's a couple of things that we do short word. So you get a, you get a guy, you get to understand like what's worth watching, you know, iceberg order, shake. You know, double top, triple bottom, Fausto flag, you know, a couple of things like that. So you can watch a couple of terminologies. Now, the big thing you got to focus on is this. Remember what I told you? Do not look at me. You will notice I don't tell people to buy and sell. First of all, it's illegal to do that unless you're registered. How do I know that? I've been doing this for 25 years. I was registered. And number two, you want to be able to figure it out on your own. Look at the traders that I train. See what they're doing, how they're buying, how they're selling, how they think for themselves. That is your key, what you have to focus on. And if you, if you could, if listen, if I have a 90 year old woman could do it, you could do it. All right. That's the key thing. A uh, couple of shout outs really quick. Uh, Robert, welcome aboard. Victor, welcome aboard. Uh, Rose, just got your registration for Colorado City, Arizona. Welcome aboard. Um, Eli from, from Ontario, Canada. By the way, we have 30% of traders in our room all from Canadians. Canadians love our cyber group room. I've been there going for 20 years. I know your Canadian market very well. You know, unfortunately, it doesn't have the volatility. And that's why a lot of people play the U.S. market. Remember, you're here to make money, and that's the reason why. All right. Any other questions, guys? Any other questions? A couple other more shout outs. Tim C. from uh, Cannon, uh, Georgia. John G. from Florida. 
I, I mean, they're coming in like crazy. Like I said, it's seven dollars. You don't like it for a week? I'll give you money back. Listen, if you're a forex trader and you're a future trader, I'm like, but I'm that's what I do. Listen, you might like trading the stock market. Look, listen. When you turn on the financial stations, how many times do you hear them talking about the stock, uh, talking about forex? They don't. They don't. They talk about the stock market. How many times do you turn on the financial stations? They talk about futures. They don't. Maybe two, three percent, ninety-five percent. They talk about the stock market. They talk about the stocks that are moving every day. That's what's moving. Take the seven dollars. Try it out. If you don't like, I'll give you money back. The seven dollars is to prove that you're a real person, and then so we could talk to you, and then focus and see if you're really qualified. If we want you part of the team, because like I told you, it's not for everybody. If you think seven dollars expensive, try ignorance. All right, guys. With that said, listen. I like to thank all my all my channel partners for helping making this possible. Uh, Trade Station, Metastock. Ninja Trader, TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, all the, I hope I named them all, but all our partners, um, Tasty Works, all the people out there, thank you for helping me as this possible. But remember, that is just the beginning. This is the change of your life. We're going to go out there. We're going to make a lot of money together. And then just the biggest goal that my goal is trying to prove today is that trading is not for everybody. And when you're in that room, you're going to realize if it's for you or not. If it's for you, guys, we're going to do great. Couple more shout outs just really quick before we call it out. I just want to let everybody know I just got a couple of more people. Roger S from Jefferson, um, Jefferson City, um, Bill from Chicago, and Mike from uh, California again. Guys, welcome and I appreciate it. Welcome to the family. Look forward to seeing you in the trading room. You got my personal email. Hopefully, you get the opportunity to talk. And then if, if we don't, then that's okay too. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the trading room.